Uh, it has come to my motherfucking goddamn gay attention that Kim Zosiak and Croy, her uh, ex-football husband, are going through a motherfucking goddamn gay divorce. <laughs> Again, to report live, we have Bob from Channel 8. Bob, is your mic on? It's on. Former Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kim Zosiak and ex-NFL player Croy Beerman are calling it quits after seven years. <laughs> According to two petitions filed to the Fulton County Superior Court within hours of each other, the couple is planning to end their marriage after being separated since April. Beerman submitted his petition Friday around 1.15 p.m. local time. Monday, the court filed Zosiak's petition for divorce around 3.44 p.m. local time on Monday. This is Bob from Channel 8 reporting live. Reporting live from Spirit Squad Worldwide. From Channel 8. It's really very simple. Let's check the board. Okay, so I saw this story last week, and honestly, I was a little sad. Okay, we all know Kim Zosiak for being tardy for the party, and everybody knows that song. Not today, Satan. Mm -mm. Not today, neck. Not today, ankles. We don't have it. But I've always gave Kim my vote because in order to sit on a reality show with a lot of black women as a Caucasian woman, you got to have some type of confidence about yourself. <laughs> so I, I, I always loved Kim. I loved Kim. I loved her. I liked Kim. I did. Yeah, I like Kim. I like Kim. Kim Wait a damn minute. And I still do like Kim. I like her attitude and I like her standard when it comes to dating. Y'all know that she was dating somebody by the name of Big Papa up in this bitch. I'm not gay no more. Okay. I am delivered. I don't like men no more. Man, he was dating some type of sugar daddy that spoiled her and stuff of this nature. And then she decides to marry Croy. Now, Kim is a, a girl who has standards, right? Like, you can't just go up to Kim Zosiak and think you're going to date her. You got to have a bag first. Stop <laughs> lowering your standards. Okay, you got to have a bag first. And second, you got to be, I mean, apparently fine. But didn't nobody know what Big Papa looked like, honey? You are the father. Didn't nobody know what Big Papa looked like. And uh, like my my uh, fan goddess of the West Coast says in the comment section, she has she was high end. She's a high end girl, and I feel like we could take a, a, a page out of her book when it comes to the standards that we have in terms of the men's that we be. Okay, because you, you you had to be. You, and then not only did you have to accept her and her standards, you had to accept her children too. And she came with kids, and then they had about four kids, if I'm not mistaken. Um. You know, this is just me being nosy. I want to know why they're getting motherfucking goddamn gay divorced. Now, Brother Donnie, who we clarified the story with an hour ago, basically says that their house is, this the, this the third time that their house is going to go under foreclosure. She has nothing else going on. And while she's sitting around running around talking about my husband and my, the father of my children, and she spends her weekends peddling through sperm banks, looking okay. through catalogs to try yeah. to find a donor. Honey, you don't know if your baby daddy will be an axe murderer or a child molester. So, um, yeah, I, I, Donnie said that uh, he feels like because this is their third foreclosure, when you get a divorce, it forces you to have to sell the property and it keeps it out of the press that your ass really, in fact, has gone broke. <laughs> okay. Okay. But I will say this. I loved how Croy uh, took care of his Kim. He loved her. He was obsessed with her. And that is a requirement if you're going to date me now. Oh, that'll do it. <laughs> you, got to, you got to have that kind of... You don't have to worry about me. You, know, you do not have to worry about me. You got to have that kind of... <laughs> Quiet going on if you're trying to fuck with a bad nigga bitch up in Geesh and it's no motherfucking shade. Okay? Wait a damn minute. Uh, with that being said, I just want to see what happened. Are they really broken up? Word on the street is that they're living in the same house still um, and they do share 
children and stuff like that. And I guess Kim is filing for soul custody and Croy is filing for soul custody. So there could have been a rumbling in the punch, honey. But when you go broke, everything's changed. Let's see what's going on with Kim and Croy. Uh... of Kim and motherfucking goddamn gay Croy. What's going on? The Ambrosia card is upright. Ambr uh, Kim is the problem. Because <laughs> now it's the problem. Okay. I feel like she, uh, her expectations of Croy uh, became more and more exacerbated as he showed her time and time again that she could reach the bar. Brandy is my very pretentious side. I need things done a certain type of way or I'm going to X, Y, and Z. I was, a, I'm, and I'm, this is because I'm catching a vibe. Was Croy Fallon the divorce before Kim? Did it catch Kim off guard? Like, face shows up upright. No, they both knew that this was going to go down. This is why they fought within hours of each other. So this is somewhat of a business strategy for the both of them. The uh, light fake card shows up upright. Ambrosia is also upright talking about um, some type of addiction. This can be like, well, this is my state of mind when I'm high. Okay, uh, so is this alcohol or is this something else? This is something else. Uh, what is it? Is she on? Is she on that damn book of sugar? Phoenix shows up upright. <laughs> I feel like she could have been dipping and dabbling in some shit that got her out of character. The Navigate card shows up upright as well here too, which is talking about neither one neither one of them want to actually separate for real. Uh, then why are they going through with this? Finish her. Yeah, this deals with money. Um, it's clear as day. This is the pan card, one of the most popular boots tarot cards that I have that does represent finances and things of that nature. Um, so, are they still romantic with each other? The Nan card shows up upright. <coughs> Why? Because money make him come and they don't got none. <laughs> <laughs> How is this going to play out? The Carmen card shows up upright. I feel a fraud charge is coming. I feel like somebody going to file fraud uh, or, or somebody's going to call bullshit on this bullshit. The graduate shows up upright. So somebody is going to make it out of this situation un, un, unscathed. How's Kim going to make it out of it? Uh, the King Queen shows up upright. How's Croy going to do? Lord, she might be a Kardashian because he loses himself after this. Oh, Croy, I swear, look, if you need somebody to uh, pick up the pieces, Aww. if you need somebody to pick up the pieces, baby, I got you, honey. You know, you, 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 your body was was looking good. I don't know how it look now. And you got this blonde hair. And if we get pregnant, I mean, we can have mixed children. I, I feel like this is something that you should consider. <laughs> 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 but as of now, like one of my fans, Graver Robert 44 says, Could have been a scheme that Todd set up for him to come to you with the booze.